Hello sports fans, uh, this is Joe and I'm looking at a great design for what they call a vacuum engine. And uh, what happens here is that they inject flaming gas into a cylinder and the piston draws this hot gas from the flame into the cylinder and then it closes it off and of course it starts to cool immediately and as it cools it pulls the piston back up which pulls the flyway flywheel around and then it bumps against the valve and it closes uh, opens it up and then it takes the next gulp of hot gas it's a very ingenious type of engine it's kind of very close to a Stirling engine but it's a lot less complicated it's a more straightforward and I think it's a lot more compact engine in that the displacers don't um, take up a lot of room I think there's a lot of potential for this um, particular engine and that uh, you could stage it to a series of other cylinders where it would take the cooler hot air and put it into a bigger cylinder down the line and so on and so forth so the same hot charge would be used several times in the cooling process um, how practical this would be I don't know but I mean it's, it's something that I haven't seen done but I think it could be done um, the vacuum engine is a um, obviously it's it's limited to its power because we're not talking high compression uh, you know some high performance engines are compressing the air in that in that piston but via the piston say 11 to 1 10 8 10 to 1 in this case there's really um, no real compression because it starts with an open cylinder it's filled with air at hot air expanded air at more or less um, one atmosphere and it can only draw down to a percentage of the atmosphere so you do have a lot less power available through the system than you would with a um, conventional internal combustion engine um, they seem to use ethanol alcohol 96 uh, percent uh, to run these things but I imagine you could use any type of flame I think they use ethanol because it burns clean there's no soot buildup but I imagine you could use a um, an oil lamp and what you're doing is you're converting heat into mechanical energy and you could put uh, magnets on that flywheel adding to the mass of the flywheel and actually have it run by coils and generate electricity so I'd like to um, build one of these things and see if I could convert a, um, a lawnmower engine in fact, I'd like to see if I can convent, uh, convert an old, let's say, four-cylinder Volkswagen engine uh, to do something that, like this. And you could essentially build a, a fire under a funnel and have the funnel divert to four um, tubes running up to each cylinder. And it might, it might actually work. Anyhow, I'm, I hope you... Um, look into this um, concept and I, I am very um, impressed with this with this design I saw them without the cross-section prior to this but this is the first time I've seen it um, going um, with the inner internal parts exposed and let's see how we turn this off right here it is right here, okay.